it's night and day from where it was before. Kevin Mick was a guest at tonight's annual fundraising dinner for the rescue mission of the Mahoning Valley. But he was once someone who needed the mission's help. I have fell into real bad alcoholism and I lost my job because of it and I kind of lost everything and I ended up staying at the rescue mission. Now Mick is a chef at the mission and works to help people who were in his position. Be an example that the mission can help people, help people along, just, just give back as much as I can. When someone enters into the rescue mission, they are taught Christian morals and accountability. We have to be shown how to go, where to go, and then we have to have friends and loved ones around us to help hold us accountable to engage in the things that we need to to help grow out of homelessness. John Muckridge tells me one problem is the recent drug activity. And sometimes it's not a positive ending. This heroin epidemic and some of the overdoses that we've ministered to guys over the years and we catch word after they've moved out um, that they OD'd and died. Muckenridge says he welcomes community support but asks for people to do their research before. So we want people to come down and take a tour, actually see what's going on at the mission and then engage from a volunteer perspective. And if led by the Lord to give, then of course to give financially to the mission. Now the rescue mission is about a year away from the opening of their new building and that location will be on Oakland Avenue. Live in the studio, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.